Sagittarius, it's me, Sagittarius, Soul Tarot. I'm going to do your guys' daily energy for today is Monday the 5th. Okay, so it's just going to be a daily energy. I'm going to get song lyrics. Um, I'm going to get also, maybe also some quotes and stuff too. I'll do the tarot. I'm going to get some cards to see kind of where your energy is at for today. Okay, make sure you've... Um, Watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatch for Sag. I'll also do an all-time post. When I do them, I'll like write down in my notes. But I'm going to do like how each sign feels about you currently, okay? Or what's to come this week for that sign, like how things are going. Okay. I know you guys like when I do that, so. Don't mind me. Just woke up a little bit ago. My hair was in braids last night, so. It's all wavy. Let's go ahead and see what your energy is at today, Sag. Okay, death in the reverse. So there's something today that you guys aren't wanting to end or lose, okay? There's something, maybe a cycle with somebody. On the bottom, we have empathy. So you are very open to seeing both sides of a situation. And when I did um, Scorpio's Monthly, they had both of these cards come out in this order. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or um, you're kind of the Scorpio energy right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get a Moonology, see what's going on. What's going on with with the Moonology here? So I feel like you're fearing like things changing, okay? Like maybe here today, because I was having a bunch of weird dreams last night. Like, um, yeah, expect powerful change, yeah. I feel like you guys are having a lot of changes happening and you're afraid, okay? Um... I know it sounds weird. I had like no I barely got any sleep last night. I was having a really weird dream. Just like I had dreams that my life was like completely changed and like I was older and it's like I was looking into myself. It was really weird, but I was like looking to myself. Like I thought I was the age that I am now, but I it was like I was in my thirties and then I was pregnant and my son, like I didn't even like recognize who my son was because he was like ten or twelve or something. It's like I seen myself in the future. Okay, so maybe that's how you guys feel, like you don't really know yourself anymore. And there's so many changes. It was a really weird dream. And it's like I was holding my son last night, and I was just like seeing him as a, you know, a little child. But in my dream, he was like a teenager. Or he was like going into a teenager. So it was just really weird. Okay, and then we have nothing will come of the situation. So there's something, you know, like you not wanting to end something, that's not, nothing's going to come of this. It's like you have to go through changes and transformations, Okay. Go ahead and get kind of like where you are, like your personality is today. Like what energy is your personality? Like what are other people seeing of you today? Like what are you looking like? What are you acting like to people? <clears throat> okay, so I speak with sincerity. So people think you're very, you know, sincere, you're truthful. Okay, like you're very honest, which we definitely are. Sagittarius are very honest. Okay, I communicate with compassion. Yeah, I feel like you're very, very, you had emp empathy on the bottom of that one card. So you guys are being very empathetic, you, sympathetic too. You're being very, you know, like you're um, having a lot of compassion for people. Okay, like you really care. And not just today, but any day. Like I feel like you guys are like that. Alright, let's go ahead and get a millennial card. See what kind of stuff could be happening for you guys today. What kind of like situations could be happening. For Sag. Okay, so someone's being shady. or um, Someone's being shady, uh, untrustworthy. Someone's hidden. Maybe somebody's hiding something. Okay, we also have influencers. Somebody could be jealous of, you know, something you're doing. Maybe someone sees you as having a lot of, you know, personality. You... A lot of creativity, a lot of things that are going good for you, but someone's trying to manipulate it, okay? With receipts, there's something that you have evidence, something that you feel doubtful about that you need proof on, okay? And then we have millennial on the bottom, okay? So it's like you're trying to be young, trying to be all millennial, okay? Trying to be youthful and young. Maybe that's why, like, I had that weird dream, like, I still want to be young, and it kind of scares me to be thinking of myself getting older, you know, because then I, I keep thinking, like, this year I'm going to be 25, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, before I know I'm going to be 30, then 40, and it's just, I don't know, it's just freaking me out. Okay, let's go ahead and get love advice. 
see what kind of like love advice you have going on today. Okay, we have attraction in the reverse, romantic feelings, heart to heart conversations, and love yourself. On the bottom, make the effort. Okay, so I feel like you do have feelings for somebody, but you need to have some kind of conversation today. Okay, and maybe you're not really sure if you're attracted to this person, but you guys do have a lot of feelings for them. But you kind of want to love yourself first as well, or put yourself first priority. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do what zodiacs you could be dealing with, and then I'll do your song lyrics, what songs are of significance today for you. So let's see what zodiacs you could be dealing with today. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what? So you could be dealing with, like, everybody today, okay? And not to sound, like, bad, but you guys could be definitely dealing with a lot of people, okay? Just not even, like, in that kind of way. You guys could be working with a lot of people, okay? Have a lot of people of different, like, signs that you're dealing with, okay? Let's go ahead and get some song lyrics for your energy for today. So I'll probably get, like, six. I'm going to pick these at random. I don't even know what songs these are, so just picking your oop. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we got Miss Independent. Okay, so by Neo. She made for a boss, only a boss, anything less, she telling them to get lost. Okay, so Sag made today, you guys are standing your ground, showing people what you deserve. Because <clears throat> then we have Drake over my dead body. Feeling good, living better. Okay. I also got Green Day, so um, good riddance. So maybe you're getting rid of somebody out of your life. Okay, something that you had to, so make the best of this test. Don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. So there's like lessons you learned from a person, okay? And it's like maybe you're telling them to get lost, okay? Also got Blink-182, though. Home is such a lonely place without you. Okay, so I'm getting kind of different energy. Then I have Find Me Where the Wild Things Are, Okay. And then I also have now Lady Antebellum needs you now. It's a quarter after one. I'm all alone and I need you now. Okay, so you could be like drinking tonight and at like one in the morning you realize you you miss somebody. Maybe you like want to be at home with this person. Because I also have this on sad on the bottom. I'm lost, then I'm found, but it's torture being in love. Okay, so you guys are kind of maybe um trying to act like you guys are doing okay, but you are kind of sad. Okay. Maybe you wish you were like at home with somebody. Instead of, you know, going out, having fun. Maybe you guys are kind of regretting that. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm using my Muse Tarot deck today. I'm going to just see general what's going on. I'm going to see um, if you guys are with somebody, what's going on. And then I'll do single readings. Okay. Get two more shuffles. I like these cards, but they're kind of hard to shuffle. Because they're like a thick... Um, a cardboard stock or whatever they use for tarot cards. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords that wanted to come out. Let's get two more. One more shuffle here. So are you guys kind of in a lot of pain right now? You guys are kind of hurt. Okay, Ace of Voices, Ace of Swords here, Three of Swords reversed, Six of Cups. Okay, definitely feel like you are thinking about somebody from the past. Or somebody, because this lady looks so sad. Okay. I feel like you're doing a lot of, you're thinking heavily about somebody. Somebody that maybe you feel like you've moved on from or they've moved on from you. A lot of air energy. So I feel like you guys are definitely in your feelings today. Okay. It doesn't really help also when the moon's in Capricorn. Because that kind of gets me where I I feel like, I'm, like I need to have like security. I need to have, you know, like focus on my home and stuff like that. Focus on my things are important, you know, and it's like, I feel like you're kind of thinking about somebody that maybe you want to speak to or have communication with, but you feel like either you guys have moved on from each other or just the fact that maybe the situation doesn't exist anymore. Or there's nothing going from this, but it's definitely a person that you think about a lot, a person from your past. It doesn't have to be a far back past. It could be somebody recently that you have a lot of history with. 
Okay, the Ten of Swords, though, I feel like it does cause you a lot of pain. Something very hurtful, something maybe tough that you had to go through, okay? And you still are going through. So I definitely feel a lot of air energy here. Could be doing an air sign or just the fact that you guys are just really, you know, mentally in your head, kind of stuck, not sure. So let's see why the Ten of Voices is here. I'm also going to clarify the Six, six of Cups, too, because I'm kind of curious about that. So let's do the Ten of Swords. Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Two of Wands. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you are stuck because you're wanting... Maybe you're stuck between two people. Okay. Maybe the one person is wanting to give you something. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's a sense where you're dealing with two people. And this is for some people. Okay. But I feel like there's a sense where you're stuck in two directions because you're... Maybe folk, you have two people to choose from, but the one person isn't talking to you or giving you anything. Could be a younger person, could be an earth sign. Doesn't what? have to be. What but, in a world of pity wise baby? I don't know, I don't know. It's scary. But um I feel like the one person really isn't offering you anything. They don't offer you anything. They don't offer you their money. They don't offer you their time. Okay. But then there is another person that's willing to give you a new start, a new offer. But it's like you're kind of stuck because you're not sure which person you want. Okay. Let's get the Ace of Swords here. The Empress and the Four of Cups reverse. Ten of Swords reverse. I feel like you've maybe like moved on or healed from this situation. And you're ready to talk, okay? Ready to speak to this person. I feel like you just want to be loved by this person, if I'm being honest. I feel like you feel like you've put in a lot of, you know, growth into this connection. You've kind of were the one to put in a lot of the work to make this happen. Feel the love. You know, and I feel like you're ready to, like, open up and talk to this person and kind of figure things out. Let's get the Three of Swords reversed. Okay, so the Seven of Cups reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you just know that this person's moved on. Okay, this person's either walking away or they're starting to walk away or thinking about walking away. And they're not investing any more time or putting any more work into this. Okay, I feel like you realize that you feel like things, you know, people are moving on. People aren't really wanting this anymore. It could be you or them. Somebody's walking away, not willing to put in the work anymore or seeing to improve anything. All right, let's get the Six of Cups for the bottom of the deck here. So I kind of want to see what's going on. Let's get the Six of Cups. Magician, the Sun Reverse, Ace of Cups, Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're very unhappy that... Yeah, it could be doing the Leo here, but you're very unhappy that this person's not in your life in any way. And with the Six of Swords, like maybe they've walked away. Under the Six of Swords, we have the Temperance. So this person makes you feel balanced. They make you, you know, feel happy and secure. And with the Magician and the Ace of Cups with the Sun in reverse, it's like you're willing to get this person back. No matter how much you try, you want to give this person back. You want to manifest this person back into your life because you're so lonely and unhappy without them. Okay, because in this card, she looks very unhappy and sad. Like, she just don't know. You know, I think she, you guys really want to manifest this love back together. Okay? And I think it's with this past person. I don't think it's with this new person. I think this past person, you um, definitely want to manifest them back into your life. And maybe even start over completely and have some kind of new love with them. Okay? Now, if you guys are with somebody or in a relationship or talking this is gonna be for you guys to see kind of currently what's going on with you guys okay and then i'll do singles after this so. let's go ahead get one more see like you guys are currently like with somebody what kind of happening here Okay, Two of Pentacles reverse, High Priestess reverse, Temperance, Ace of Emotions, Ace of Cups here. Or no, Ace of Materials, sorry, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so right now you guys could be with Sag another Sagittarius, but there's a sense of not being able to trust something or feel like this person is, you're almost kind of wanting to end this with this person because you feel like you can't trust them or there's a lot of things that they're hiding from you, very secretive, it could be a Pisces too. Okay, and it's like you want to have balance, you want to just be in control, be, you know, level, okay? Maybe this person makes you not do that. So, let's see. I feel like you're not really willing to, like, you know, work on something here.
All right, let's get the Two of Pentacles reversed here. I feel like you're letting something go. You have the Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So, I feel like that's what you're wanting is the Ten of Cups with somebody, okay? And it's like you're wanting this, but maybe you feel like you're not really being... You feel like something's hurting you, okay? Hurting you, hurting your pride. Okay, maybe you feel like you've helped this person a lot financially. But there's something that's hurting you here. Okay, I don't know if it's that you feel like there's kind of an imbalance in your connection with this person. Because I feel like it's not really back and forth anymore. It's not really balanced. Okay, it feels like something's kind of off level. Okay, let's do the High Priestess reverse. So you guys could be finding out a lot of things about somebody. Queen of Swords reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse, Three of Cups reverse. Okay, you could have found out that they ended a third party, that they were seeing other people and they ended it. Okay, or just the fact that this person's, you're just like mad at this person for some reason, not wanting to talk to them. Okay, maybe you feel like they just aren't being very expressive with their love, but they don't really express much. Okay, there's a lot kind of going on here, I feel. Let's get that temperance here. Okay, King of Cups reverse, the Sun reverse, Three of Pentacles. So, I feel like this person, you're just trying to remain balanced, but this person makes you, like, really unhappy. Maybe how emotionally detached they are, or how emotionally detached you are. Something here, maybe you feel like you have to be emotionally detached from this person, or slowly not be so open to, you know, showing your love, expressing your love. Maybe you feel like it's kind of draining you. There's something unhappy going on here. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Or a Pisces or another Sag, okay? But I feel like you still kind of want to work together. But there's a sense of, you know, you're not really feeling completely happy. So it's kind of get between your guys' energy. I'm going to do, if you guys are in a relationship, I'm going to shuffle these three more times. And then I'll do your energy, their energy, and then the energy between you guys. And kind of get more of what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to get your energy there and so the energy between you guys. See, like, more of what's going on. Okay, so on, there, on your side, you got the Sun, Eight of Pentacles. They got the Three of Swords reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. Energy between you guys is the three of cups reversed. Okay, page of swords on the bottom. I feel like you guys need to communicate. All right, I feel like there's something going on where you guys aren't really wanting to. It's like you're, I feel like you're putting in all the work, Sag, is what I'm seeing. You guys are putting in all the work. Good job, guys. Coming out of the What the? What is that? What is that? What the? I don't know, babe. Let me get one more card for each, for each of you guys. So, let's get one more for Sag. Okay, the Justice. And then they got the Muse of Cups. Or it's like the King of Cups. Alright, Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, alright, I do feel like you guys felt like you guys were putting in all the work. You guys are bringing that happiness to the situation. You could be doing a Leo or a Libra here. But you guys feel like you've been putting in all the work. Okay. And this person, they feel like they're kind of moving on. That they're not really fulfilled or happy. They need to move on. But they still have a lot of emotions. And it's kind of hard for them to. Okay? Or they just still feel fulfilled in this relationship for whatever reason. And between you guys, you guys both feel that. You know, you feel that disconnect. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Start with you and then I'll start with them and then in between. So definitely a sense of... You're wanting balance. You're wanting things to feel like they're right. And like I said, I feel like you sense an off balance in your guys' connection. You sense that something's kind of going on. Something's not really working. Okay, because I had the two of pentacles reversed. So you guys know that there's some kind of off balance. Alright, or like both people aren't giving to the situation. Let's get the sun here. Okay, four of cups reversed. Queen of cups reversed. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're kind of leaving your emotions out of it, but you are open, you know, to express your emotions or be open to this person, but you definitely want communication, okay? You want to fix things, kind of know the truth, what's going on, why this person's being kind of weird, not really showing their emotions here. All right, let's get the justice here. 
Why is the justice here for Sag and their side here? Okay, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. So you've, either you have history with this person. I feel like you've had history with this person, but you guys aren't really communicating. Or there's a distance between you guys. Okay? And it's like you've known this person for a while. Maybe since you were a kid. Maybe uh, you went to school together. You guys have a family together. That could be it. Or just past, you know, history. Six months to six years. Something like that. Okay? But I feel like you definitely want justice. And you want to talk and fix things between you and this person. Alright, let's get the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords reverse. King of Swords. I feel like you are waiting for communication from this person, okay? I feel like you're not going to be the one speaking. Okay, you feel like you've done enough work, okay? You feel like you've done enough to bring this relationship together. You're willing, waiting on this person to speak to you. Okay, with the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. You feel like you've brought everything you could. Okay, you feel like you've done everything you could. The Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You've really helped this person maybe financially or just in the fact you've really brought the work into this, really put the initiative, the time and effort, stability into this person or connection. You've made them feel nurtured even as well. Could have really been taking care of this person, making them feel good. All right. Let's get on their side of the Three of Swords reverse. Why do they feel like they need to move on? Okay, well, Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so it might not even be you. It might be a sense that they were seeing somebody else. Okay, and I feel like maybe they realize they need to put an end to something. Okay, because I got two threes here. So they could have been seeing somebody else that they were investing into. Okay, with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like they are very attracted to you. And I feel like they are coming in slow to fix this. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, they are kind of coming in, sl in a slow pace to fix this, whatever this is between you guys. But they had to move on from something else or they had to end something else. Okay, so if you guys haven't been in a long relationship with this person and you're just kind of talking, they could have had somebody, either you know this, about this person or not, could have been a you know, mother or father of their child or something. Okay, there's somebody they still were kind of entertaining or having in their life giving to and that's why they couldn't fulfill the, or couldn't give you the fulfillment and be fully invested into you. Alright, let's get to the King of Cups. But I do feel like this person has a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions for you. Okay, with the Nine of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Empress. So they're still holding on to you. But they're not really fulfilled right now. Okay, they don't feel emotionally fulfilled. But that could be because you guys haven't really been... You know, they can feel your guys' energy not doing so well. That's why they haven't been feeling fulfilled. Okay, but they still are holding on to this, holding on to you. Because they see you as the Empress. You see... They see you as being very loving and nurturing and caring. You're that sweet person in their life that they need. Okay, maybe they even think of you as a mother figure. Like, you're very kind and nurturing. Let's get the Ten of Cups reversed. But there's a sense of them not feeling like they're completely, you know, fulfilled or... Okay, with the Moon reversed, Five of Wands reversed, with the Hierophant reversed. You could have been dealing with somebody that was non-committal. Could have been a Taurus or I have Cancer or Pisces here. But I feel like they don't want the conflict, and that's why this never really happened. Okay, I feel like they wanted to say to you kind of, you know, how things were going, but they weren't really wanting a relationship. But it, like, caused, you know, a lot of... Or if they told you kind of, like, what they, like, didn't want right just yet, that it would have caused a lot of conflict, so they were trying to avoid that. But there's a lot of secrets coming out, or a lot of things you're finding out about this person. Okay, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Let's go ahead and get between you guys the Three of Cups reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? I feel like you guys haven't maybe seen this person or reconciled with them. Let's see. Ten of Wands and the Temperance. Okay, Nine of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you guys don't want to be single, but you guys want things to be balanced. Okay, here's even your card, Sag. With the Ten of Wands and the Temperance, you guys feel like you just want balance. You want things to be easy and not hard. You don't want to have to work real hard for this relationship. And that's why you guys maybe haven't came together and fixed things. Because you both feel like things are kind of rocky. They're both exhausting. Okay. But when I did the Ten of Wands, I, came, I did it kind of like on your side first. And then Temperance on theirs. I feel like they're wanting balance. They're wanting things to be level. And then you're feeling like you're putting in all the work. Which it makes sense. You're feeling like you're putting in all the work. All the time. The dedication. And it's like you're getting exhausted and overwhelmed. Okay. So guys, just take what resonates. But I'm going to go ahead and do single. So if you guys want to still see this, even if you're not single, you guys can. It's just to kind of see what's coming in for Sag singles here. 
And at the end of the video, I am going to do each zodiac sign, how they currently are feeling, what are they, you know, coming towards you with, what are they going to, you know, come together with for you this week, or all that good stuff. So if you guys want to stay tuned, it's going to be after I do the singles, so. One more shuffle, let's see for single sages, what is coming in. See if I, if I see anything good. Okay, the Emperor. We know that we have an Aries coming there. Someone very, you know, powerful here. With the Page of Wands reverse, Six of Pentacles, Knight of uh, Wands reverse. Somebody that's not wanting to be inconsistent in your life. Okay, I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna have someone come in that's gonna put their foot down, know what they want. Okay, they've already learned. I feel like this isn't a person that, with the Page of Wands reverse, this isn't a person that's still learning or figuring you out. This is a person that already knows you, okay? Already knows you passionately. They already maybe have been with you intimately. And that's why this person's willing to give to this and have balance, okay? Could be an Aries and I got um, fire and I got earth here. So this is a person. They could even be older, too. This is a person that definitely wants to make this work. They're dedicated, okay? And this person already kind of knows about you and what you're about. I don't feel like it's a new person. I feel like this is somebody you already kind of know or someone maybe you have history with. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the Emperor. Bless you, buddy. Nine of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. The Devil. Oh my gosh. So, I don't want to say this, but this is a person that is could be toxic. <laughs> could be a Capricorn. This is a person that Okay, they know that they can have you. They're very charming, very attractive, okay? But I feel like this person doesn't make you happy. They don't make you feel fulfilled. Or they don't really give you much of their love, okay? Or the, at least that's how you feel maybe about this person. They don't really make you feel fulfilled. They don't make you happy. Or you guys never really started any, you know, flow of love here. All right, let's get the page of wands reversed. Could be a person that already that knows how to, you know... Play with your feelings, you know, person, I don't know, let me get more, page of wands reverse, like I said, I feel like it is a, a past person that's coming in, two of pentacles reversed, page of wands again, empress, okay, so, as a person, I feel like if they were seeing other people, they dropped it, okay, if they had you back and forth with somebody else, I feel like they dropped it, and I feel like, with the page of wands in the reverse, and the page of wands in the upright, I feel like this person, they still haven't really figured you completely out. They're still learning and observing you. They still act kind of childish in some way. Maybe with the, the way, like how they, like how they come at you kind of, like how they persuade you like physically, okay? I'm not saying that they're bad in bed or anything, but I'm saying maybe the way that they come towards, they kind of just act kind of young, okay? Kind of childish, like, you know, they're the kind of person that'll text you like, hey, what are you doing? Or... You want to come by my place or something very young, not like something, you know, like more older, mature, like, hey, like, you know, let's hang out for a bit. Let's, you know, they're not the kind of guy or woman that's going to be like, it's like they know that they can have you physically, okay? But it's like they act very youthful and young, okay? They could be even planning to try to get you pregnant or try to have you be the mother of their kids or mother of their children or something of that here. But this person, I feel like they still act very young. If they're not young and they're actually older, they still act or their behavior, the way that they try to, you know, get you to be like into them or attracted to them is very young. They don't, you know, they're not like, oh, I want to have you um, come, let's just get some drinks and then like hang out at my place for a little bit. They're just going to be like, you know, texting you small little texts or acting kind of like they're a college kid or something, you know, very young and immature. All right, let's get the Six of Pentacles. All right, Sag, so I don't know. Let's see. Okay, the Chariot could be a Cancer. Okay, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords. Ooh, okay, so I feel like this person is going to give to you. Okay, they are going to want balance. They're going to want to move forward. Okay, maybe they want to move forward and see where things go between you guys. But there's a sense of you kind of not really sure if this is what you're wanting. Okay, you're kind of guarding yourself in a way. Because maybe, like I said, this is a past person. On the bottom, we do have the Queen of Swords. So maybe this person's pissed you off, okay? Or this person, you have to be very, you know, straightforward with this person. Like, hey, 
you know, especially if it's a past person, you guys have history, you know, you need to tell them. Maybe it was easy in the past for them to come in, but now you have to tell them, hey, if you actually want to be in my life, you have to stay there, you have to put effort in. Okay, because I feel like there's a sense of, and this is a person that knows that they can almost kind of like, um, not really self, well, kind of selfish, but a person that they know, maybe they like how they feel with you intimately, and they know like you feel the same way about them, so they can kind of just not really do much and like come back into your life. Okay, or they can act very immature and young, and you'd still take them back. Okay, so I would just be cautious on that, Sag. Okay, especially with, you know, the spring and stuff, the summer, people are wanting to, you know, start kind of messing around, having fun, doing things. So I would just kind of be on the lookout. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through cards real quick, and I'm going to do what each sign wants to, what they're going to be about this, um, this week or today, so in a second, I'm going to start getting them time stamped. I'm trying to find Taurus. There it is. I think I'm going to make this kind of an extended. Okay, so it's going to be like an extended with you and this person. So, um, I'm trying to find the notes. Here we go. Okay. All right. So, if you guys are dealing with an Aries, let's go ahead and see what is going on with you in this Aries. I'm going to get the soul's journey. Down in Aries. Forgiveness. Okay, so this Aries wants you to forgive them for something. Okay. On the bottom, we got guilt in the reverse. So maybe they feel like they are sick of being guilty for something, and they just want you to forgive them. All right, let's get a moonology. Okay, emotions are running high. Your commitment is being tested. What do you need to release? Okay, so you guys have emotions are running high. Your commitment is being tested. So maybe there's an Aries here that you guys need to forgive. Okay, maybe you guys need to forgive this person for something. And like your feelings are really like strong for this person. Alright, let's see. Wedding. You could have been married to this person. Okay, nothing else I'm going to come out. We got free yourself in the reverse. I feel like you're having a hard time letting this person go for some reason. You guys could have been married or thought, talking about marriage. Or it almost got to that point. Let me just go ahead and get two more shuffles and see what is just like currently going on with you and this person. Okay, so I okay, got the Ace of Wands reverse, Eight of Swords reverse, Two of Wands reverse, Hierophant. Like I said, you guys could have been married or talk about commitment, but there's a sense of you're just wanting to get out of your head about this and like just make the decision already. You have to make some kind of decision. Okay, maybe you don't really feel the same for this person anymore with the Ace of Wands reversed. Alright, let's get the Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, the Queen of Cups and the Star Reverse. So you do still have a lot of feelings for this person, but I feel like you think it's over. Or there's not much going on here. Okay, maybe this isn't what you've been wanting. This person's not what you wish for, maybe. Get the Eight of Swords Reverse. Okay, the World Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're wanting out of your head about this, because maybe you do want to be with this person, or you're wanting better things to come. You're wanting a new cycle, a new beginning. Okay, maybe you guys did want this person, like, fulfilling you. Okay? Keep the two of wands reversed. Okay, the fool in reverse. Six of swords reversed. Yeah, I feel like you're having a hard time like moving on to other things. Okay, you're still wanting to be with this person. With the eight of pentacles reversed, but you're kind of tired of putting in all your energy or putting in all the work. Okay. 
okay? All right, let's go ahead and see if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, what is happening. So if you guys are dealing with a Taurus, what is going on? Let me go ahead and timestamp it. I do. He's watching. Something about Chucky or something. What are you watching, Brayden? Did I hear like the... Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, so if you guys are dealing with the Taurus, see how... What is going on between you guys? Okay, abundance in the reverse. Maybe you guys feel like you guys aren't having much growth, or there's not much being expressed. Okay, we have death and the um, death on the bottom here. Maybe you guys feel like this is over with the Taurus, or you feel like it, there's not much being built here. There's not much of a you know, foundation, you guys haven't really had too much, you know, being exposed or expressed here. Let's see. Maybe you're wanting to end things, too. Okay, the answers you need are coming. Okay. The bottom, step out of your comfort zone. So maybe they make you feel like you need to be out of your comfort zone. Okay, but you need answers about this person. Okay, we have pay attention to red flags in the reverse. You deserve love. On the bottom, new love. So this could be your, a new love for you. And you've been deserving of this. And I feel like there isn't really anything toxic maybe with this person. You realize that there's nothing toxic. Okay? Or you don't feel like there's any red flags. Maybe this is someone you've been deserving. Someone that you needed. Okay. Let's go ahead. Get two more shuffles. But maybe, like I said, there hasn't been much abundance. There hasn't been much... You feel like it might be over or there's not much going on right now between you guys because it is fairly new. Okay. The hang man. You feel like things are stuck with the six of swords and the nine of cups reversed. Queen of pentacles reversed. Okay. Um, the sense of feeling like things are stuck or stagnant. Deciding whether or not you should walk away because you're not really feeling the way you thought you were going to. Let's get the hang man here. Okay. With the three of wands in the reverse. And the three of swords are worthy. I feel like you guys are kind of not wanting to wait around. You guys are kind of maybe just wanting to like move on from this. Okay. Or you guys are feeling like this, you're kind of stuck and not sure if you should wait or if you should just move on. It's kind of like should I stay or should I go kind of thing. On the bottom, the nine of pentacles reversed. So it's like you don't want to be single. All right. Let's get the six of swords. What's going on? Nine of swords and the knight of voices reversed. I feel like you guys aren't really getting a lot of communication from this person and that kind of stresses you out. Or you thought they'd be like kind of communicating more with you than what they are. Maybe they're not very consistent. They're very, you know, in and out. But they're talking to you. And it kind of stresses you out. makes you wonder kind of like what is going on with the Page of Cups in the reverse. You're wondering whether or not you should invest into this and offer, you know, yourself. Let's get the Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, the Queen of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. You could feel like um, that maybe this person's like entertaining other people, and that's why you're not really wanting to invest a whole lot emotionally into this. You feel like there's maybe other people. There could have been a third party or another person that they're giving their emotions to, and that's why you don't feel fulfilled. You feel like they're not giving their full on love to you. Okay, and it's like you're trying to show this person like who you are and that you deserve better. Okay. Because maybe you don't feel like you're appreciated because on the other deck we have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Maybe you don't feel like this person treats you like how you deserve to be treated or they don't really put a lot of growth or time or effort into you. Okay? If you guys are dealing with a Gemini. Okay. If you guys are dealing with a Gemini, let's see. Okay, we got blame in the reverse and humor. Okay, so you guys, I feel like there's not any blame with this person. There's nothing really to blame them for. And you guys have a very, like, fun energy with them. There's a lot of humor, a lot of fun times with discipline, too. Maybe they help discipline you or you guys discipline this connection. Maybe you put this person in timeout. Okay, let's go ahead and see. I don't know why I thought that. Like, you, maybe you really control this Gemini. You put them in the... Time out. Put them in a doghouse. Keep them outside. I don't... <laughs> like, I feel like you guys have a funny energy with this person, okay? I feel like you guys have a fun sense of humor. Alright, so we have 
energy is gaining momentum. So you guys have maybe a lot of, are having a lot of laughs together, a lot of fun. Okay. Emotions are running high. This person may get you in your feelings though, but I feel like a good thing. Okay. Maybe you feel like you can be very fun with this person. A lot of young energy. Let's see. It is safe for you to love in the reverse. Maybe you feel safe to love. Attraction in the reverse though. Okay, true love in the reverse. This could just be for free yourself. This could just be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Maybe you guys feel like you guys are just better off as friends. You guys don't have attraction for them. They're not really the person you're wanting, but you guys have fun. Okay. It could just be a, like a friendship I'm thinking about too. Like This could just be a friend. I know I have a lot of Gemini friends. So it could be like, you know, a person of, the, of an opposite sex, but they could be just a friend of yours. Okay, so let's see. Okay, the star in reverse. Yeah, the hermit, nine of cups reverse, and the king of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is just a person, like, you like you like this person as a person, you know, but I feel like they're just not really the person for you with the star reverse. This isn't really a person you've been hoping for or manifesting, okay? Not to be rude. I feel like they don't really make you fulfilled either with the nine of cups reverse, okay? They don't really give you that wish fulfillment. The hermit, you might even feel like you have to take kind of a break from this person sometimes, all right, let's go ahead and see the star reverse. Okay, with this, see if that's a six or a nine. I can't tell. Six, okay. Six of swords reverse, six of cups reverse. It's a person from your past that you still are dealing with, okay? You're not walking away from them. Like I said, it could just be a friendship, okay? Because I have the five of cups reverse. I don't really feel that there's anything bad or upsetting here, okay? So it definitely could just be a friend. Let's see the hermit with the humor card. I feel like they are just a very friendly person. The Hermit, we do have the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed. Two of Swords. Maybe there is a lot of kind of confusion with this, though, because maybe deep down, maybe you do kind of have some feelings for them, but you've moved on. Or it was a situation where there's still kind of confusion because you guys maybe dated, but now you're friends, but there's still kind of that, like, what if kind of thing. You know, like, what if we still were together? You know? Let's get the Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, with the Eight of Wands reversed and the Fool reversed. So there, there might not be a lot of communication with you and this person, and it's like you guys don't want to take another chance with each other. Okay, you guys could just be, like I said, friendship now with the temperance. You guys make each other, each other balance, each other out. You guys have fun together. Okay, so I could just be picking up a friend energy here, which that happens, you know. I feel like, though, with the King of Wands on the other deck, that they are still kind of attracted to you, but I don't think, like, you feel the same way. Okay. Let's go ahead and do Cancer. You guys are dealing with a Cancer. I have that face because I'm just like, eh, I don't know if I want to see this. Because <laughs> everybody's been saying they're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer, and it's like, ah. Okay, let's see. You guys are dealing with a Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Mm, service. <laughs> okay, so this person is going to service you in some way, this Cancer, okay? On the bottom, Abundance. Okay, so you guys have a lot of abundance, a lot of physical reality. Oh my God, oh my God, manifest whatever. So physical reality and service, this person wants to be abundant in your life. This person's not going to leave. Okay, I'm sorry. This person continuously wants to service you in some way. That could be emotionally, physically. Okay, this person, I don't feel is going away. It's like you still are dealing with them. Okay, all right. I got that eye roll, so I'm like, all right, let's see. Conclusions are within reach. A time for healing. Nothing will come of this situation. As well as luck is on your side. No! No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, luck is on your side. Okay, new moon in Sagittarius. Ooh, and I think we are having a new moon. Oh, no, we're having a full moon soon. Okay, not a new moon. We already had one. Yeah, but... It's yeah, we are having a full moon in May, though, so. Okay, let's go ahead and see the love advice here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, new love in the reverse. Yeah, like I said, it's a past person. Trust in the reverse. Don't trust them. Express your love and reconciliation. No, flirt in the reverse. Yeah, don't flirt. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Alright, I, I see you guys are always having problems with cancers on here. That's why I'm like, no. 
Like all the cards that didn't want to come out are coming out. Okay, reconciliation, service. Okay, express your love, service. All right. Let's get one more shuffle, we'll see what's going on. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups Reverse, Four of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, they're still holding on to you because they see you as a treasure. They see you as somebody very reliable, dependent. If they were seeing other people, I feel like that's over, okay? I feel like maybe they don't want the third party anymore. They want to kind of focus on you here. Okay, even though I'm grinding, I'm kind of grinding my teeth saying that, but I feel like, you know, there's a sense where they do, you know, they're still holding on to you in this connection. And they see as very, you know, you have your stuff together. You somebody that they want to be with. So let's get the two of pentacles. Okay, with the page of cups and the ace of pentacles in reverse. But you guys don't really have like a stable. There's nothing really stable starting here. But there is a lot of love that this person has. Or they're expressing their love here. With the eight of pentacles. They are willing to work on this. Alright, let's get the, king, the queen of pentacles. Yeah, the empress and the muse of... So the king of um, swords and the empress. So yeah, this person, like I said, they see you as a treasure. You're very nurturing and caring and loving. Okay, and they, I feel like they want to talk to you and have communication here. Because then we have the hermit in reverse. They don't want to be isolated from you anymore. All right, let's get the three of cups reverse. Page of pentacles reverse. The devil reverse. Eight of wands. Yeah, they want to reach out and communicate. They want to see you. And I feel like they realize maybe in the past that nothing's really... That they've learned from things here. They've learned from, you know, they've already learned from how they treated you in the past. And they realized that they were toxic or they were very, you know, they weren't very good to you. And I feel like they want to, like, reach out and talk to you and f kind of fix things a little bit. Alright, they could just be, because they are very, like, moody people. So that could just be how they feel today and then tomorrow they don't talk to you again. So I would just <laughs> kind of see how things go. Take it by ear. Okay. Let's do Leo. All right, Leo. You guys are doing with Leo? What's going on? Freedom. Okay, maybe you want your freedom from this Leo with health. Okay, maybe you feel like you need to focus on your health. So this person, maybe they mentally drain you or... A sense of feeling like you need to just focus on yourself, okay? Maybe be kind of away from this person to create your own happiness. Okay, so prosperity lies ahead. Believe in the impossible. Okay, so what do you need to release? Yeah, I feel like you guys felt like it was impossible to release this person. But you need to just push forward. You guys can do this. Believe in the impossible. You guys... You guys need to move on from this person. You guys can. Okay, if it's like a very toxic, hard energy, you guys need to just, you know, know you can walk away. You never have to stay with somebody. Okay, with codependency, yeah, let go of control issues, reconciliation in the reverse. Free yourself. Yeah, definitely, guys. I feel like with this Leo, it's almost like the cancer. You guys need to, you guys feel too dependent on this person or there's something you need to not be dependent on anymore. You guys don't want to see this person anymore okay and it's like you, you need to let go of controlling your feelings with this person okay just let this person go because i had free yourself in the bottom okay so free yourself okay king of cups we guys do still have emotions for this person okay queen of pentacles the moon the queen of wands. So you guys are still very passionate about this person. You still have feelings. Maybe feel like they, you know, helped you financially. Or you could depend on this person. Or it was very dependable. But there's a lot of things that they kept from you with the moon card. They could have been keeping a lot of secrets. Not being completely honest. Okay, let's get the king of cups. Okay, knight of voices. Three of cups. So I feel like you do want to see this person or be with them. You do want communication. Okay, with the queen of emotions. You do have a lot of feelings for them, like I said. Alright, let's get the queen of pentacles. Okay, the death reverse and the moon. So there's a sense of you not wanting to end this. Okay, maybe you like how you feel secure and stable with this person. 
but there's a sense of, you know, not really not sure like how you actually feel. A lot of things maybe you're concealing as well with the moon card. All right, let's get the moon. Again, the star in reverse and the tower with the king of swords here. So I feel like you are not really feeling too, like, hopeful or happy in this connection. You feel like there's a lot of things that just don't really add up, okay? And I feel like you're waiting for things to kind of change or get where they're different, you know, for things to kind of be different for this connection. Okay. Okay, let's do if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, what is going on? Okay, if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, what's going on? Okay, friendship. They could be a friend of yours, this Virgo. Okay, with abundance. So you have, like, you feel like this person helps you in a lot of ways. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a relationship. You just feel like they're a friend of yours. Which I have a lot of Virgo friends, too, so. It could just be that. Okay, a new start is coming. Maybe you and this person, you guys are going to, like, hang out more. Okay, believe in the impossible. Maybe you felt like you guys were disconnected in friendship, okay? But maybe you guys are going to start, you know, hanging out more, seeing each other a lot more. New start between you guys, like a new friendship with you guys. Children, maybe you guys have both have children together. Okay, which I know I have a lot of Virgo friends that have kids, and we both have kids together. And we, like, hang out with our friends, our kids, you know, and then we hang out. Flirt in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like definitely there's a friendship. There's not any flirting. Okay, past life relationship in the reverse. This could be a new friend of yours. Okay. But I had trust in the reverse, so maybe you're having a hard time trusting them because they're still, you know, fairly new in your life. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I move the cards over so I can have more room. I'm doing this kind of fast because I feel like um, my tablet might be dying soon. I had it only 20% when I filmed, so I need to start doing better at filming or of charging it. Especially when I know I'm going to film, I need to make sure it's at least 80%. Alright, let's see with you and this Virgo what's going on. Okay, the Queen of Wands reverse, the Moon reverse, Three of Cups reverse, Chariot reverse. You guys could have had, like, you know, a stagnancy in your guys' friendship. There could have been a lot of secrets coming out. Okay, maybe also you guys haven't hung out in a long time, haven't had this reconciliation. Okay. Like I said, I feel like this is a friendship because there's Queen of Wands reverse. You're not, like, you know, just passionate towards this person. You don't have feelings for them like that. Okay, but there maybe has been kind of a drift in your guys' friendship. Queen of Wands reverse. we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups reverse. But yeah, this is a friendship that you kind of think about a lot that you feel like you're still wanting to be in, like, this person's life, but you feel like they're doing... Uh, they're kind of focusing on their work or their finances and not really this friendship anymore. With the Five of Cups reverse, but you, you're being understanding, like you understand things happen, especially if they have children too, you realize, you know, work comes first, children come first. Okay, the Moon reversed. Okay, the Three of Cups reversed and the Chariot. Yeah, you guys want forward movement. Your friend could, um, they could also have cancer traits to them or you feel like, you know, they act a lot like a cancer too. They could have, you know, children like I said. Okay, the Ten of Wands reverse. You feel like you haven't been putting in the work either. You've just been kind of letting this person come back into your life. Okay. Let's get the Three of Cups reverse. Queen of Swords reverse and the Six of Swords reverse. I feel like you guys don't want to move on from this friendship though, but you guys haven't had a lot of communication or you could have been mad, had some kind of dispute with this person in the past. Okay, but the strength, okay, maybe you're holding back from them a little bit. But I feel like you do want to move forward and you want to like hang out with this person and be in their life. Okay, it could just be a sense of not really, you know, you guys are kind of mad about something and letting that kind of take over why you guys haven't hung out. Maybe a big misunderstanding, okay? I know as Sag is, we're like known for doing, you know, overreacting, being overdramatic, okay? So maybe you guys did that. Let's go ahead and do Libra. You guys are doing with Libra. Let's see what's going on. Okay, we have purpose in the reverse. 
Okay, relationships in the reverse. So yeah, you feel like you guys, there's no purpose for this person in your life. You feel like you don't have a relationship with them. You feel like it's not going to be a relationship. And it's almost kind of like, why are you here? You know, why are you in my inbox? Why are you messaging me kind of thing? Let's see. I feel like you just kind of like don't understand like why they're hitting you up. But they don't want a relationship with you. Why are you talking to me? Why are you wasting my time? Okay, yeah. Me meditate and contemplate. So you're doing a lot of thinking and dreaming about this. Like why, you know, with conclusions are within reach. Yeah, you're going to make conclusions. You're like, well, why are they messaging me all of a sudden? Why are they wanting to talk to me when they don't obviously want to be with me? You know? Okay, romantic feelings. Calling in your soulmate. Chemistry. Love yourself first. Finances and career on the bottom. Okay, but I feel like you guys do have chemistry with this person, but maybe you're just kind of like, well, why are you talking to me? You don't seem like you're that interested. Okay, maybe they don't want a relationship. Okay, let's see. Or you feel that way about this person. Let's see what else is going on with this Libra. I don't know, I mean, kind of, maybe you guys are having arguments with one, because I kind of get like a, kind of like an aggravating energy, kind of like, why are you here? Why are you hitting me up? Why are you talking to me? I mean, I'm not mad at any Libras, but I'm kind of getting that from some people. Yeah, Magician reverse and the Chariot and the Seven of Pentacles reverse, the Justice reverse. Yeah, you guys definitely are having a dispute or an argument. Okay, things aren't fair. Okay, but I feel like you guys aren't really manifesting this person into your life anymore and you're wanting to move forward with the Chariot. You're not really investing into this anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Chariot here. Okay, with the King of Wands and the Page of Swords. I feel like you do want to talk to this person. You still are kind of intimate with them or think of them, you know, they're, they're attractive. Okay, I think you still kind of want to give to this, though. But you're wanting to move forward or wanting changes, a different direction. Magician Reverse. So, we got the Awakening here and then we got the Page of, or the King of Pentacles. So, I feel like you do want to still kind of offer something and invest into this, but you're not going to put the work in. Okay, you're expecting this other person to. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, you're not really putting the work in here. With the Six of Wands reversed. And the Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, I don't really, the Magician, I feel like you're kind of wanting maybe to like end this. I don't really know if you feel like that desire anymore with this person. You still kind of find them attractive, but I think you just want to talk to them and kind of fix things. Because there is like an imbalance between you guys. Things aren't really fair. I feel like you had some kind of injustice. Okay, you guys are doing with a Scorpio. Alright, you guys are doing with a Scorpio. What's going on? And this is going to be timestamp, guys. So you guys can watch for whatever sign you're dealing with. You're doing with a Scorpio. Okay, guilt. So they feel guilty for something. Okay, purpose in reverse, okay? So they don't see a purpose for something that they did. They don't understand the purpose for why they should feel guilty, maybe. Okay, bring love into a situation with them. So they want to bring love into the situation. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so they kind of want to bring love into it. And they feel guilty, maybe, for not offering you this, okay? Engagement. This could be the one codependency in the reverse. Religious factors in the reverse. Okay, so you guys could be like getting engaged to the Scorpio. This could be the person for you. Okay, let's get more into it. Ten of Wands, though, the Empress, and the Three of Cups, Reverse, Star, Reverse. I don't really know if you're feeling like you are wanting to invest into this. I think you're feeling like it's too much work. It's too tiring, okay? I feel like maybe you feel like you've put in all the work or you've really made this grow, this relationship, okay? But I don't really know if you're wanting this. Like, you don't really feel hopeful with the Star, Reverse. Or this isn't maybe the person of your dreams, the person you're not really wanting. And that sounds really crappy, but maybe they're just not what you thought, like... 
Let's get the Ten of Wands. You have the Six of Cups reversed and the Three of Wands reversed. In the sense of, like, you do have a lot of back and forth past with this person. But I don't really know if you're waiting for this anymore with, this, with the Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like you kind of realize how things are with them. Let's get the Empress. Okay, the Emperor, Page of Wands reverse. So I feel like you're putting your foot down and it's like you already kind of know how things are with somebody. Okay, you do feel kind of passionate for them, but I don't really know. You have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't really know if you're wanting to come together and work on this connection. With the Three of Cups here. Reverse, the Two of Pentacles, Devil reversed, the Moon. Okay, you could feel like this person's hiding a lot of things from you. You feel like you don't really want this to be a toxic situation, so you're back and forth kind of what you should do. Because you don't want to have this temptation, you don't want to have this addiction to this person or obsession. Okay, or there's a lot of things you feel like they're hiding from you with the Moon here. Okay, if you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius, well, another Sag. Okay, let's see if you guys are doing another Sagittarius. Because it does happen. We can, like, you know, be with other Sages. I mean, it's not, like, too likely, but it happens. I know for me, like, you know, I don't know if I could date the same sign as me. Okay, loneliness. Okay, they feel lonely without you. And ha ha what? Loneliness. Okay, because maybe you're their happiness, so they feel lonely without you. Okay. So that's sweet. Let's see. Or they see you happy and it makes them lonely. Okay, look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. Okay, so maybe like in May you guys might get with this person. Because we do have one in May, I think, coming up. A full moon. Meditate and contemplate. you got to realize what you want. Figure out what you want. Okay. Okay, getting to know each other in reverse. This is somebody you already know. Okay, healing family issues in the reverse very soon. Wedding in the reverse. So you guys could be very soon getting together, but you guys aren't really wanting to be married or anything. Alright, let's go ahead and see what else is going on with another Sag. Okay, Ace of Swords reverse, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords. They want to talk to you, Page of Swords. Definitely want to talk to you. Maybe you guys haven't talked in a while or talked to truth here. Okay, there is a lot of passion though where they feel passionate with you. Let's get the Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, Queen of Wands reverse and the Four of Pentacles reverse. So they feel like... Let's see. So yeah, they kind of feel like they're... Like you're like not wanting this anymore. They feel like you're not wanting them anymore. Like you're not passionate about this anymore. And they just kind of want to know the truth, okay? With the tower, they feel like things change between you guys. Alright, let's get the Ace of Wands. Death, Reverse, and the Fool. They're not wanting to end this, but they're wanting a new opportunity with you. Okay, they're wanting to take this chance, this new opportunity with Awakening. Okay, so they realize that this is what they want. Okay, it's like the Judgment card. Let's go ahead and get the Queen of Swords. Justice, Reverse. Okay, Six of Pentacles. They, they want to talk about how things aren't really fair. They feel like you're not treating them fair. Okay, because then they want balance between you guys. They want things to be give and take equal. Okay, but they feel like they want to put their foot down and tell you, like, hey, this isn't fair how you're treating me. There's a lot of imbalances in this connection or whatever we are, you know. Alright, let's do Capricorn. Okay, if you're doing the Capricorn, what's going on? It looked like my thing just kind of froze. That's weird. Okay. Okay, relationship in the reverse. Okay, empathy in the reverse. So this person doesn't understand why. It's kind of like a why don't you want me kind of energy. Like they feel like you don't want this relationship. And it's kind of like woe is me. They don't understand your point of view. Okay, it's like this person's like, why don't you want me? This isn't fair. It's all kind of like me, me, me. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Like kind of a selfish energy, kind of like. Don't let your past hold you back. So you feel like maybe this is a, a person from your past, but you don't need this relationship to hold you back. So that's why you're not dealing with it. Okay, surrender to the divine. 
Okay, so maybe you do need to surrender to them or tell them kind of what's going on. Here they feel like you failed this relationship or you don't care about it. Walking away from it. Playfulness in the reverse. Make the effort. Trust. Okay, engagement in the reverse. Maybe you called off the um, engagement, the wedding. Okay. There's not a whole lot of playful energy here, but I feel like they want to have your trust. They want to have, you know, this effort, you know, this relationship. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. I feel like this person doesn't understand, like, why it isn't working out between you guys. And they feel like they've maybe done everything they could. Maybe they feel like it's all, like, kind of on you, like, why... You're not wanting this relationship. That's for some of you. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, the lovers are reverse in the chair. They're wanting forward movement with the Nine of Wands, but they're scared. They don't know if they can trust you or you don't trust each other for some reason. With the lovers reverse, they definitely feel like there's a there was a twin flame connection, but you guys don't have that anymore. And they want to move forward. Maybe they feel like they invested a lot into this with the Queen of Pentacles. Or you were someone very worth investing into. Let's go to the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, the Six of Wands in the reverse and this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you just want your independence. You want to focus on your money. And you kind of are just like failing this relationship or not wanting it. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles again. Yeah, you're very money oriented. You're focused on your money or yourself. Okay. The love, and this is for some of you, so don't get mad at me, guys. Lovers reversed. Okay, the Seven of Cups reversed and the Two of Swords. It's like they're not willing to see the truth here. They're not willing to see this, you know, how things are. This person still, like, kind of maybe has hope in the back of their mind. You guys are going to be back to together. There's a lot of, you know, them wanting this. But they realize they don't want to accept the truth, okay, is what I'm saying. They don't want to see the truth. They know what the truth is, that you guys maybe just aren't meant to be together. But they're not wanting to see that. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person still wants to invest into this. All right, the Chariot. Okay, the... Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles and the Reverse and the Justice. Yeah, they're wanting, they feel like there's definitely an imbalance and they want to work on it and they want things to move forward. Okay, because there is, they feel like maybe they're putting all the work because there's not much being put in. The Five of Wands in the Reverse, they don't want this conflict anymore. Okay, they don't want any drama. They just want to be, you know, up front. Okay, you guys are doing Aquarius. Okay, if you guys are doing Aquarius, what's going on? You're getting a lot of tense energy. Especially after that Capricorn one. I'm getting like really mad energy. Like they're just pissed. Alright, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Okay, happiness in the reverse. So they're not happy right now. With relationship. Okay, maybe they wanted a relationship with you and they're unhappy because maybe either you guys are in a relationship or they're wanting a relationship and they're unhappy. It's not happening. Okay. Or they're just unhappy with the relationship you guys have. That could be friendship or dating. Maybe they're just really unhappy with how things are. Okay, luck is on your side, though. Okay, behold, be bold, make the first move. I feel like they want you to make the first move. Okay, and that's why they're unhappy. They feel like things are different. Okay, and they want, they feel like you guys have a lot of luck. Like, luck is on your guys' side with this person. Okay, religious factors in the reverse. Make the effort in the reverse. Okay, let your friends help you very soon in the reverse. I feel like it's already happening. This person wants you to make the effort, okay? They feel like you haven't, okay? Maybe because of religious factors or something. Maybe this person, there's a feeling like you don't know if you want to be, like, married to this person or if they're getting, like, out of a divorce. Something to do with, like, religion or maybe they're just very religious and you're not really about that life, okay? Which I'm not going to get into religion because I don't... You know, everybody's different. Everybody thinks different. So, let's get one. Okay, the Hermit. Queen of Cups reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Cups reverse. Definitely you are at, like, maybe, like, a timeout with this person. You guys haven't been talking. Maybe you're not expressing your feelings either. Or they're coming off as closed off. Um, or you are. And there's definitely a sense of not putting... You know, time and energy or, like, shared interests or, you know, efforts into this here. Whatever's going on. Let's get the Hermit. Okay, with the Lovers in the Reverse. K 
Okay, King of Cups. This person does have a lot of feelings for you, but they feel like there's a disconnect in your energy with each other. Okay, with this Nine of Swords reverse, they're not wanting to be stressed about this anymore or fear this. Let's get the Queen of Cups reverse. Okay, the Emperor and the Justice reverse. They feel like you need to take charge and you need to try to fix things because there's definitely a lot of imbalances or you guys are kind of mad at each other with the Six of Swords reverse, but you're having a hard time walking away. All right, let's get the Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay, with the Four of Swords reverse, Ten of Wands. This person feels like, you know, they're thinking about this heavily, that they're maybe really tired because of this. They're really worn out and exhausted because of this connection. They, and they're kind of at loss what to do. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, because they are wanting to make this work. And I feel like Eight of Cups reverse, they don't want to walk away from this. Well, I, I'm doing some, what? Um, I need to go, no, I haven't took a shower yet. Okay, let me finish this real quick. Okay, if you're done with the Pisces, let's see what's going on. Okay, we have relationship on the bottom. We got self-esteem in the reverse. So someone doesn't feel like they... This person that you're dealing with, maybe this relationship you guys have with them, they're not really feeling too good about it or about themselves. They're kind of putting themselves down. Okay, it could be a person you know, like a friend, a family member, a person you're dating. Okay, so work through your fears. It, they could be like fearing that they want a relationship with you, but they don't feel that they're good enough. Okay, make the effort. Attraction reverse, free yourself reverse. Heart to heart conversation. So you could be like not really making a lot of effort here. Okay, but you're not wanting to walk away from this either. But there's, you're not really sure if you have a lot of attraction for them or not. Okay, then let's go ahead real quick with the tarot and see what's going on. Okay, page of wands reverse. We have the fortune reverse. Queen of pentacles, four of swords. I feel like you're taking a break from this connection. Maybe you feel like it's not meant to be and you need to focus on like yourself. Okay, or your money. Page of Wands reverse. Okay, the wheel and the fortune reverse, eight of cups reverse. It's like you're having a hard time walking away, but you feel like this just isn't really meant to be, or you don't feel this is the person for you. With the four of pentacles reverse. There's still a sense of you kind of letting go of this though. You're having a hard time emotionally detaching. All right, Wheel of Fortune reverse, the Lovers, and the Six of Cups reverse. Could be a past person that maybe things didn't go the way you wanted them to, but you still have this strong connection with the Four of Cups. But you feel like there's a lot of, you know, feeling like you're left out or not sure this person wants you. Queen of Pentacles, or you could be, you know, rejecting this person, but still having a feeling for them. Queen of Pentacles, you got the King of Wands and the Four of Wands reversed. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed, I feel like you want to be with this person, but and you're very like inspired and passionate about them, but there's some kind of disconnect with you guys. Okay, so just take what resonates. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys.